<laughs> okay. Uh, welcome, Odin. Thank you for joining us. Firstly, we'd like to talk about a bit about your career, how long you've been involved in the game, and what initially got you into the game. Well, I've been uh, part of the cricket since a very young age. Um, started at mini cricket age as well. Um, and uh, since then, I never stopped playing. Uh, played with the boys and just kept going. And then when I got to high school, played with the girls. And then obviously went for trials for provincial. And then, yeah, since then, it's just rocked up um, to, to national level while emerging first and academy and then I joined the, the pro tiers. So, yeah, it's been, it came in, I think it's been from the age of seven. If <laughs> wow, that's been a while. And you've been involved in cricket both domestic and, as you mentioned, on the international, um, with the pro tiers scene. But um, what convinced you to take part in an inaugural T10 tournament at Wanderers that you eventually won? Well, it, for me, it, it was all about the love of women's cricket and also develop the women's game. And I spoke to the, the event organizer. I knew her very well. She actually comes touring a lot internationally when we play away, even if it's England or India or whatever. She comes to support us. So what she's been through, like organizing this event, I was like, I got the feel that I, you know, had to commit to it, and especially because she. She's been planning it a very long time, and you could see she was planning it very well. Um, it's not just been a month or whatever, so it's been very well planned. And I just thought, like, for women's cricket for the future, and and it's the very first big thing for women's cricket in South Africa, a tournament like that. Why not be part of it? You know. So uh, yeah, it's it's been an awesome tour, and I think it's only going to be better next year. Fantastic stuff. So with the involvement in the development of a different format as um, this inaugural T10 is introducing into the women's game, through your years as part of the women's setup, what have you seen in the development of the women's game that you're finally getting excited about women's cricket in South Africa? Well, it's, I haven't been, like, like I said, I haven't been on a, a big tournament like this and, and it's actually now nice to see, see where it goes all around the country and not even just around, um, uh, around in this area. So it's good to see where other provinces also do a lot of work trying to develop women's cricket. And I must say it's been a huge improvement and um, I think they've done an enormous a great job of getting the, the girls to even just participate and um, just you know play the game. I think they, they, we can almost forget sometimes how many uh, shortages there are in games for women's cricket and I think that gave them a lot of exposure as well playing games so, and giving them a, a bit of experience in that as well. Yes, great stuff. And now you played a massive part in the victory in the final. Um, the two big sixes, <laughs> the last ball of the last two balls of the of the over to win you the tournament. Can you talk us through what you were thinking, what you were feeling at the time, with all the pressure on you? Can you talk us just your mental state at the yeah, time? Yeah, well, uh, we, we 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 got off to a, a bit of a, a we lost an early wicket, and I went in at three, and obviously Bronwyn was in with me, and then we settled things up very nicely and we went about every over and we like no we've got this we on par we're on the run rate going at it to win it and then i think it was the the second last over yeah, the second last over we only got six runs of it it was like six singles but before that we like no we're on par and we just single singles we like okay and we didn't say a word to each other like normally we went about it and after that over we like and i still had the confidence that we could do it like 20 runs in that game it's it's still doable and then the first run, Bronwyn was on strike, giving me the strike. And obviously, I had to do something, and I was mistiming the balls in the previous over. So it's it was it was back in my mind. It was like yes, I need to do something, but I kept confidence. I'm like the whole thing for me was just like thinking we got so far, we can't get to lose now. <laughs> we have to pull it through. We have. To. So yeah, it was it was tough. It was a wide ball and a a dot ball here and there and then I just I just had to pull it through and luckily she pulled she, she bowled in my arc so I could put it, uh, put it away and uh, that second last one was so big they had to fetch it on the other field <laughs> so that gave me some thinking time as well and as I look around the field and 
they crowd are screaming and they are uh, like my team is standing there I'm like yo no pressure you know? like, <laughs> I have to do this so I had time to think and I just like I had to go full swing well we needed four runs of the last ball but in my mind I was like just go for it <laughs> and as soon as I made contact I was like oh straight to the field there so my heart sank for a little bit and I'm like as she went like this like looking over I was like yes I got it over. <laughs> so yeah this nail biting I thought at the end I'll just hit it straight to in her hands and that would have been so disappointing but yeah in the back of my head I was just I was keeping positive and I just said to myself there's no way we can come so far and we lose it so yeah. I just had to to go full out yeah <laughs> And did you want that responsibility on yourself? And when those last two balls came, were you there? Well, like, I'm happy. Enough, it's me. It went back in my mind. Like, when I got in, I'm like, I'm gonna, I wanna finish this. I don't wanna go out. I wanna be there till the end. And I actually memorized, I had this picture in my mind that I'm gonna hit the winning runs. That's even before I went in. So it happened. And it just tells you what you can do when you're actually thinking about all of this. So, and then I was just like, when we got closer and we were on par and both of us were in and we're hitting the ball well, yeah. um, I just like felt that we have to finish it. Because for a new batter to come in and try and score runs, it's not easy to get your eye in so quickly. Um, and, and, and they bowled well at the end as well. It wasn't easy. We had to, to rethink and do something else. So for me, it was just going through, straight through because to get a new batter in, not that we don't have like batters, I, we've got very good depth in, this, in the team. So I, I was still backing them, but I was like, no, we can pull this through. We can do this. <laughs> and you hit the yeah. winning runs. <laughs> yes. yes. And now after that, obviously the celebrations and the, the, the whole crew coming together on the field. Can you talk us through those emotions and that feeling of winning that title, that initial Well, to be honest, title. that was probably my first like precious scenario in my whole career. So wow. I haven't even experienced that in international. Yeah. So for me, it was a whole new thing. Yeah. And and if I if I had pressure, it was more on the bowling side. It was never on the batting side because I was more a bowler than a batter. So for me, it was it was a different feeling because it was a different role that I played in. And as soon as I hit that run, it was just screaming all over the team coming around. So it was an emotional feeling and, and it felt great. It was, it was awesome. And now looking ahead, would you participate in something similar? In I will. Like, that was, I must say, it was a well-organized... I was a bit skeptic about it at the beginning of the time. Like, you know, like first, first time tournaments, it's, there's a lot of stuff that can happen. And you don't know what to expect at all. But I must say it's been a an, an fantastic organized tournament and the, the, all the, the stuff they went through getting it, making it possible, I think it's going to be a very nice in a bigger event next year. So yeah, no, I'll definitely do that again. Yeah. <laughs> now you've enjoyed that moment but we're looking ahead now to the upcoming season. Can you talk us through what your goals and ambitions are personally as well as with your team going forward for the league? Well, I think this tour has given us a great kickstart. I think it's it's given us a lot of positiveness going into the season. So I think we just keep into our basics. And um, I must say, how the girls perform there, and it's not even in season yet, um, we can get a lot better. So I think when we go on to practices, we keep on going forward and uh, working on, on our strengths. Um, we're going to be a big competition for this the season coming up. Fantastic. Thank you so much for your time, Odi, and good luck for the upcoming season. Thank you very much. <laughs> Thank you. Bye. Bye.